So Percy puffed and he huffed. He rattled and rolled all the way from the steamworks to the diesel works. At the diesel works, Diesel 10 smiled his biggest smile. Thomas will be here soon. And where is Victor? He's going to tell Sir Topham Hatt. So Victor has left the steamworks? Yes. That's good, Percy. Very good indeed. Percy was puzzled. Percy, we are going to do something very special. We are going to take over the steamworks. <gasps> and you will lead us. When we have the steamworks, Sir Topham Hatt will listen to us. And you will be our hero. Percy whooshed. But what about Thomas? Diesel 10's claw clanked. Thomas will stay here with Kevin. Then I will send for him to join us. When Sir Topham Hatt has listened to me. Are you ready, Percy? Just then, Thomas rattled in. Welcome, Thomas. We've been waiting for you for so long. Dead and Dart will take care of you. Percy and I are busy. Come with us to the back shed. I don't want to puff to the back shed. I want to take Kevin back to the steamworks. Dizzy Diesels, you have to stay here. We're going to take care of you. Aren't we, Kevin? That's right, Thomas. We could play Swing the Yook with Upper Yook. <laughs> it's fun. Boss? Percy saw Thomas. Thomas saw Percy. Diesel Ten's claw flashed. Sparks flew. Are you ready to be a hero, Percy? Percy smiled. Suddenly, he felt grander than Gordon. More special than Spencer. Yes, I am. As Dan and Dart took Thomas to the back shed, he called out to his friend. Percy! But Percy was already gone, leading the charge of the diesel. Percy huffed and puffed, his pistols pumping, as the diesels rattled and roared behind. They thundered through Henry's tunnel as they raced towards the steamworks. Here you are, the steamworks. The steamworks was quiet. Everything was quiet. Everything was calm. Percy was proud. Percy waited for Diesel 10 to cheer and clap for Percy the hero. But Diesel 10 didn't cheer. He didn't clap. He didn't take any notice of Percy at all. Instead, he cackled. <laughs> the steam wax is ours. It's all ours. We won't give it back now. <gasps> Percy shook with surprise. You have to give it back. No, don't. And we won't. Out of my way, you silly steamies. The diesels whooped and raced. They twirled on the turntable. They heaved on the hoist. They biffed into buffers. The Steamworks was theirs. Bust my buffers. This is a disaster. What about Thomas? Diesel 10 crackled. What about Thomas? He's ours too. Silly Steamies. Silly Steamies. 
Percy's firebox fizzed. He felt less special than ever. I thought I was a hero. I thought I was important. I thought I had new friends. But now Thomas is trapped at the diesel works. The diesels have taken over the steamworks. And it's all my fault. Percy felt terrible. Diesel 10 isn't my friend. Thomas is my friend. He's my best friend. And he's in trouble. Percy looked round the steamworks. I can't rescue the steamworks alone. But I can rescue Thomas. I'm coming, Thomas. My best, best 